in terms of diet, right? Like what would you say would be like an 80, 20 for someone just starting out? Mm. What, what would you recommend in terms of just them eating to get started, uh, you know, in, in their diet? So for those people that want to get lean and want to optimize for fat loss, I recommend a few things. One, I recommend doing a fast every day. When you're eating five meals a day, those meals have to be small to stay in a calorie deficit, unless you're lifting or training three hours a day. You're not going to be able to eat very satisfying meals, okay, mm -hmm. especially if you have a big appetite. So I recommend doing a fast every day. We're actually primed to fast. Wake up, drink some water. After about an hour, hour and a half, you can have a cup of black coffee. You can have, you know, two, three cups of black coffee. You can use my pre-workout Kino Octane, which is amazing for energy, amazing on the fastest state. And then you get this five hour fasting period where you have amazing focus. When you're not eating first thing in the morning, you're not even eating every two to three hours, you actually reach this state where you feel really dialed in. I get my best work done on a fasted state. Digestion and eating can actually um, take away from that state. So, um, so that's the first thing, okay? Um, you know, you trigger that sympathetic nervous system where you're alert, focused, energetic. Contrarily, if you eat a massive meal, you enter the parasympathetic nervous system where you just feel like, relax like if you eat a massive meal you just want to sit down and freaking watch a You're movie sleepy, like and i and i used to do that back when i was mm -hmm. i was bulking and trying to gain weight I'd, I'd eat a big meal and then i couldn't work the rest of the day man yeah so i find when you cut strategically you get amazing work productivity so you get a five hour fast i will you know your first meal can be a bit smaller you might have some eggs yep. a little bit of fruit english muffin etc 600 calories or so for the average male and then you'll basically have this big dinner feast with you know, 14 ounces of lean meat. Potatoes are actually one of the most filling foods in the world. So potatoes are very satiating. If you want to get lean, mm -hmm. um, basing a lot of your carbs off potatoes will keep you more satisfied. So like lean meats, some broccoli, potatoes, it's a big feast, butter. You do not want to shy away. You don't want to cut out carbs or fats. You, both, you need those both for testosterone um, output. And then, uh, you know, as far as oils and butter, like using butter, coconut oil, olive oil is great. You want to kind of avoid using the seed oils. Yep. Um, and then the last calories, usually the late night snack, I'll have, you know, a Magnum ice cream bar, a chocolate almond bar, cookies, 400 or 500 calories of whatever I want. And I've, every single time I've cut down to my leanest condition, 6%, I literally ate chocolate every single night. Wow. Every night without fail. And What's funny is that when I was like, you know, maybe I'll eat some healthy late night snack. I just still have cravings. And then I would probably a couple times a week, I just end up going over my calories. When I finish with chocolate, I'm satisfied. I'm cooked. That's it. And I am, I have an easy time cutting. 